Welcome back to Simple Cyber Defense Weekly Updates. Today is March 21st, 2020, and this week we have many problems with Windows 10 updates and some problems with the coronavirus scams. So, the first thing we're going to talk about is Windows updates problems. It is very important to keep up to date with Windows updates since a lot of vulnerabilities have been coming out lately but some of those updates have had negative consequences to to the system so if you're experiencing many problems the first thing you can try to do is to remove the update that has been applied to do this the first thing you do is go into settings updates and security and then you're going to go down to where it says view update history and then you're going to click on the uninstall updates and what you do now is just remove Microsoft updates from the newest one all the way to the previous one until your system goes back to the way it normally runs one side caution is some of the updates have been known to delete user data permanently so before installing any update for Microsoft I suggest that you back up all important documents to an external hard drive or to a cloud storage that way if an update does delete your files you do have backup now that was all for the window update problems now for the coronavirus there are many uh, scams going around many phishing emails that will trick users into clicking on links that say that the coronavirus has been found in your area click here to to find out how many affecting in your area those are fake emails with malicious links do not click or open any attachments for those emails the best thing to do is to find any information about the coronavirus is to go to the CDC's website directly and look at their map that they have link to the CDC website will be in the show notes another thing is many apps are being popping up in Android and iOS marketplaces showing fake apps that claim to show you a coronavirus map and these are all fake they will steal data from your phone again the best thing to do to find out any information about the coronavirus is to go to the CDC website there is one app in particular that does lock your Android device out and demands a ransom to to uh, unlock it if you are affected by this ransomware on your phone really the only things you can do is either pay the ransom or completely wipe out your phone the best thing I would suggest to do is to completely remove and factory reset your phone. If any more updates come about for this new ransomware, links will be on the simplecyberdefense.com website. And that looks like to complete this week security updates just remember times are tough for everyone and the best thing to do is not panic and to stay diligent and we'll see you in the next episode if you like what was in this episode please consider liking subscribing and sharing with others for more information to suggest a topic or to donate head over to simplecyberdefense.com